Welcome to the tutorial on transitioning to new quizzes in Canvas, brought to you by the Teaching and Learning Center. I'm Jamie Dubuque, the Teaching and Learning Technologist here at Rider. In this tutorial, we will learn about creating new quizzes, migrating classic quizzes over to new quizzes, copying new quizzes from one course to another, and grading new quizzes. First, let's talk a bit more about new quizzes. New Quizzes is the quiz engine in Canvas. It replaces classic quizzes. Classic quizzes is in what is known as the sunset phase. The team at Canvas is no longer updating or supporting the feature and eventually classic quizzes will disappear. At that point, any classic quizzes you've created will be view only, meaning students will not be able to take them. The upgrade to new quizzes offers features such as improved accommodations and a wider variety of quiz question types. At this point in the tutorial, it may be helpful to pause the video and open your Canvas course. We will now walk through the new quizzes transition process from beginning to end. First, new quizzes must be enabled in Canvas. You will need to do this for each course you teach. To enable new quizzes, navigate to settings in your blue font navigation bar. Next, locate the feature options tab. From here, we will enable default to new quizzes by clicking on the red X and selecting enabled. We will also need to enable the new quizzes feature by again clicking on the red X and selecting enabled. Now you are ready to create a new quiz. If you've already created classic quizzes and want to migrate them to new quizzes, you'll learn to how to do so on the next slide. To create a new quiz, click on Quizzes in the blue font navigation bar. Next, hit the Add Quiz icon in the top right corner. Here, you'll customize the quiz's name, point value, due date, and availability dates. Remember that your due date is when students will submit. Available from date is when they will be able to view and start and available until date is when they will no longer be able to see the quiz. Now we will select Build. On the Build page, you'll start by adding instructions. Type your instructions directly into the Rich Content Editor box. If setting a time limit, it's helpful to let students know in the instructions what the time limit will be. Select Done. The blue plus icon allows you to add questions. Here you can see a wide array of question types we can add to our quizzes. The first kind of question we will add to our quiz is a stimulus question. Stimulus questions include a file, image, or media that students will refer to in order to answer a question. You can also add instructions that are specific to the stimulus section. For my example, I'll be adding a video from the My Media section of Kaltura, but you can see the variety of ways you can add your stimulus in the Rich Content Editor toolbar. For Kaltura, I'll click on the multicolored pinwheel. I'll choose the video for this stimulus question and select Embed. Now the video will be visible to students when they arrive at this question in the quiz. I can set the orientation for my stimulus questions. Select Done. And now hit the Attach Question button to add questions for the stimulus. Here, I'll select which question type I want to include. Let's add a multiple choice. 
I'll name the overall question, add the actual question itself, and add the options. One note about multiple choice. The choice that you select when creating the question is what Canvas will recognize as the correct answer. So if I choose to switch it by clicking on, let's say, oranges, I've now set oranges as the correct answer. I check my point value and select done. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a second question to this stimulus. For this one, I'll make it a true false response. Once again, whatever I click on is what Canvas will acknowledge as the correct answer. I'll type in my statement. For this one, I'll set false as the correct answer. I'll keep my point value and select done. Now let's make a new question. We're going to use a hotspot question, a type of question I think could be especially helpful in science courses. A hotspot requires students to identify a location and an image based on the instructions provided. To create the hotspot question, we will add an image in the drag and drop or browse section. Let's add the writer and TLC logo to this image. For a hotspot question, we get to set the area that will be included as a correct answer. So if I wanted the entire piece, which wouldn't really make sense, I would choose the entire piece. Otherwise, I'm narrowing down my option. I don't want to do just a small area in the correct response if I'm wanting students to select a larger space or to have more flexibility. So if I want it to be the shield encompassing the tree, I'll choose the entire shield as the correct answer rather than one small spot. Otherwise, I'll have a lot of students sending me emails. I'll make sure that my question is super clear. Students know exactly what they're looking for. Double check my outline. Adjust a point value if I'd like. And then select done. At this point, I'm previewing the quiz to see what it looks like from the test taker's perspective. Here, I'm able to answer the questions, and I can see even what the results will reflect for the test taker. So I'll go in, I'll click on a couple of different options here. I'm intentionally clicking on an incorrect one so that we can see what that looks like. I select my area for the hotspot. You'll notice it's a small circle that I'm choosing, but it's within that correct range. I submit. And now we can see that the quiz is being auto graded. So in this case, the test taker earned a 75%. You could see what was correct and incorrect and notice that the space I chose was marked as correct already in the hotspot. And you can even see the time it took for this attempt. Now I'll go back into the standard view and check the moderating tool. Here's where I would have a list of students if this wasn't just a sample course, and I could, uh, I could go in and fix things like the accommodations or set wait times between attempts if I'm offering multiple attempts. Now I'm in the settings view, and I can do things like shuffle questions and answers. I could set my 45 minute time limit that I decided on. I could choose things like calculators, allowing multiple attempts. I can also adjust what students see with that results view that we were just looking at. Here I'm going to shuffle the questions possibly or set it at one question at a time, but I'm still going to allow backtracking.
Now I'll return back to the quizzes view and when ready, I'll publish the quiz by clicking on the icon to make it a green check. Now I could also publish this from within the module, which I'm going to go to now to add the quiz to. To add the quiz to my module, I'll hit the plus symbol, choose quiz from the drop down menu, find the title of the quiz, and then add it. And now my quiz is published and ready to go for my students. Again, I could publish or not from the module view as well, if that's something that I'd rather do. Now, how do we go in and migrate a classic quiz to a new quiz? First, we'll go into the quizzes link, then we'll locate one of our classic quizzes, which is indicated by the green rocket symbol. From there, we click on the kebab icon, which is made up of three dots. From the drop-down menu, we'll choose Migrate, and Canvas is now going to produce a new quiz from the classic quiz version. Once that migration is complete, I can disable or remove that original classic quiz and use only the new quiz moving forward. Getting rid of that will help me um, not get confused. You can see here that my settings are ready. My points are all set. I can go in and update my dates. So I'll set my due date again, go in and set my available from and my available until date. I'm going to go ahead and click build because I like to just check that my questions are good to go. And I can see here that they're set. If I want to, I can add more questions as well by clicking that blue plus icon. But otherwise, I'll be all good to go. I can go in and still do my settings or moderate if I want to for the class. But other than that, everything is taken care of and this quiz will be ready to go as a new quiz version. If we have our new quiz created and we want to copy it to another course, we'll locate the quiz, then we'll find the kebab menu icon again, which is made up of the three dots. In the drop down, we'll select copy to. And now we'll type in the name of the course that we want to copy this quiz to. I can even set the location for my quiz as well here. For this one, I'll send it to my Unit 1 module and I'll put it at the bottom of the module. Now I'll select Copy. And then there's the confirmation that it is copying. I'll close that out. And now I'm going to head over to the other course, which was the TLC Playground, to locate the copied quiz. Since I already copied it straight to a module, I'm going to go to my modules directly to check. And there it is right at the bottom. Now I can just publish it and the quiz will be ready to go. So we've created, migrated, and copied quizzes, but how do we grade them? There are a few ways to locate a quiz when we're ready to grade. In modules, quizzes, and assignments, you'll see them. You can also just go to your gradebook. Here's the gradebook view, and we would just go over to the actual quiz, and we would see it for uh, once it's actually published and students are able to access it. For now, we're going to go back to modules and find the quiz we want to grade. Then just click the kebab menu and select speed grader. Here, I'll be able to see results info for the quiz for each individual student because parts of this were able to be auto graded. Now for this quiz, one question was an auto graded fill in the blank. 
And you can see I set several ways a student might input a response, but the student didn't get any of those correct answer options, which SpeedGrader was able to identify. I can leave feedback. I can adjust the point value if needed. Maybe I realized that they did have it correct and I just didn't think of that option. But now we're going to go to the essay question, which we need to manually score. And SpeedGrader did let me know at the top of the quiz that I had one question I needed to actually manually grade. Here I can provide feedback. I can adjust the point value. There's even a fudge point option. I'm going to mark this as correct. I've got my point value set to where I want it to be, so I'm going to hit update. Now the quiz is completely scored and I can add overall feedback in the comment box as well. So this would be feedback for the entire quiz itself. And then when I hit submit, I'm submitting that comment, that feedback, so the student is able to see it when they view their grade. Now I can click the arrow near the student name to move on to the next student and continue grading the quizzes. We hope this tutorial has been helpful in guiding you through the process of transitioning from classic quizzes to new quizzes in Canvas. If you have any further questions or need assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to the Teaching and Learning Center for help.